Hello folks, got another announcement video for you guys. So first of all, Home is announced to be released on the May 30th. It'll be actually May 31st for most of us by the time it actually is done and ready. And I'll probably be live streaming that when it happens. So we do finally have a date for Home, which is great news. Uh, which also means that the announcements of Pokemon that will be banned has been drastically sped up. So with Home's date officially being released, this is a new schedule for how bans are going to be announced. So today we're going to talk about Shin Pao, Spectrier, and Regeliki. I'm also going to talk about Annihilate because it was announced like Thursday at literally 1 o'clock in the morning. So I didn't really, wasn't able to make a video on it. And also it's already banned from OU and it's already been in this generation. So there's really not much to talk about since it got banned. But we'll talk about it anyway. So... Who are the bands today? The bands today are Shinpao, Spectrier, and Regeliki, as I just said a moment ago. And here are how the bands totaled out. Um, Regeliki was actually six said it should go to Ubers, while three wanted it to go to OU, which it needs more than two thirds, I guess. I thought two thirds was the cutoff, but apparently not. So yeah, it'll be able to be used in Scarlet Violet OU. Finchin Air copy and pasted his response about Maguna be about being scared of Terra Regeliki. Man, y'all weren't lying about the smog and love stall shit. I'm starting to believe it. Uh Shin Pao was very overwhelmingly wanted in OU uh in an eight to two vote. Spectriere, however, was another case of unanimous support from the council of being banned to Uber. And Annihilate was actually really freaking close. Annihilate was 6 OU for Ubers, which I guess it needed, since it's already banned from OU, it needed over two-thirds vote to start in OU. This voting system is very strange to me, but I guess it makes sense. So we'll start with the, Re with the Reggie kid, the Electro kid, as some might call him. There's three sets that'll basically be used this gen, and yes, Specs and Band Offensive Electro Kid will actually be viable this time around because it has the amazing Terra Blast, and you can Terra Ice and get effective Bolt Beam coverage. You still have Electric Stab plus Transitor, and now you have Ice coverage with an Ice Stab. Wait, it's, it's basically 120 base power um, after Stab, after you factor in Stab, so yeah, it'll be... The Regelli kid, the Electro kid will be very strong, even though there's going to be eight fucking ground types in OU, as as the memes say. Um, so we'll see how that all spins out. I think that there's a good chance Regelli key goes to Ubers, but that's whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes, to be honest. Um, Magirna might be a bigger concern. The other Electro kid sets that we could be seeing is... Physical Regeliki with also Terra Blast Ice. Extreme Speed and Explosion are also great options on it. Choice Band, Wild Charge. You could run another Terra type, but I don't know why you'd run anything other than a Terra Ice. You want the best offensive type you can, unless you're trying to hit something else. Like, I'm trying to think of a ground type. Like, if you're trying to hit, um, maybe you're trying to hit uh, Iron Treads, and then you wouldn't want to be Terra Ice, you'd want to be like Terra Fighting then. But that's a that's a whole nother topic i guess that's more of a niche case you you're 99 percent of the time you're going to be wanting to run terra ice and then we have a screens regeliki i put terra flying on it just for if you're in a real pinch but you could also run terra normal to power up your explosion and rapid spin damage i'm not going to lie i copy this set from sword and shield i'm not sure how much it's going to be used this gen uh grim snarl is pretty much better than screens regeliki in every way because it now has a pivot option that's just my personal opinion. So yeah, we'll see if this set gets it much usage. The other thing worth pointing out with the Electro Kid is with max speed investment, you are able to outspeed Booster Energy Speed uh, Iron Valiant, which is huge because Iron Valiant has zero special defense, which means Thunderbolt's just going to blast it away. And your opponent's going to have to decide if they want to just stack their Iron Valiant or they want a non-speed boosted Iron Valiant for later in the game. Which is huge. So I think Regeliki will keep Iron Valiant in, in line a little bit, which I think is worth something, but it might be too overwhelming too is the other thing. So we'll just see how, to see how it goes. I have a feeling if, if the Electro Kid is, a, is allowed to stay in OU after like the first few days or first week or whatever, we're going to start seeing 
things be booster energy speed like roaring moon for example the base 370s so what's 370 roaring moon is 119 yeah so that would also mean greninja and meow scarada and cinderachi would also be running choice scarf um so yeah we'll see we'll see how that shakes up the meta but yep that's pretty much all i have to say about the electro kid i'm glad that they're at least trying it in ou but we'll see how it goes then we have shin pow so as i like to call it shit pow ship has a very strong offensive pokemon this is obviously a joke set that i i actually feature in one of my videos um shin pow is uh the ability sword of rune which uh decreases your opponent's defense stat by uh 0.75 multiplier which is basic it's it's close to it's, it's not it's, it's pretty close to a life orb it's in between like a life orb and a like never melt ice boost basically or black glasses um, this is obviously a joke set, so I'm not really going to talk about it. The two main sets that you run are Heavy Duty Boots, Ship Pow, and, uh, I, I think Life Orb, Ship Pow is another set that, um, people were running. I, I also know that Choice Band was also a set people would run. Um, uh, the thing about Shin Pow is it has a great move set. It's got a great priority. It has Ice Shard and Sucker Punch. Um, it has great cup sacred sword pretty much covers everything sacred sword crunch and ice shard pretty much cover everything If you really need to you could run terra electric I saw that as an option, but I wouldn't encourage that personally You also have sword dance to boost your attack Which is a very scary boosting your attack on a pokemon that already has a 120 Base attack stat, and that has great coverage because your opponent basically has to play the mind game of do they go for an attacking move here? Or do they sword dance up? And then there's another layer because even if they have something that's faster than it, are you going to ice shard or sucker punch? So there's a lot of mind games with Shin Pao. I think that's the main thing that made it OP actually that people didn't talk about. Shin Pao had amazing mind games. This thing would just break your brain with how many options it had. And I, I, think, I think that's the main thing that we'll be looking at when it comes back. I think it's still going to be too powerful, but... Again, I'm glad that they're at least giving it another chance to try, and it was a pretty unanimous decision. Shin Pao wasn't even quick banned. I think it was unanimously not quick banned, which I really agree with that decision as well, and they gave it the proper suspect test. So, we'll see how Shin Pao does this time around. I'll be curious to see. With the Terra typing, I would recommend running the Terra type that you are running two of. So, most of the time, you'll run Shin Pao with either, you'll probably run it with Crunch, and an Icicle Crash or Ice Spinner. And then you'll want a priority move in either Ice Shard or Sucker Punch. And depending on that one, that's the Terra type I would go with. So if you're running Sucker Punch, Terra type Dark. Or if you're running three attacking moves in Sword Stance, I would run Terra Fighting for the Sacred Sword boost. Because Terra, Terra Fighting Sacred Sword was ridiculous. I, I ran that a lot and it, it cleaned games, man. It was so good. Um, this is obviously a joke, Shin Pao. We're probably never going to see this set come up again, but it is a funny set to consider. Um, yeah. Anyway, so on to the next, we got the Spectrier. Spectrier was unanimously voted to be banned, and I'm very glad for that. This thing is very terrifying. It's even better this generation. They gave it more moves. <laughs> First, I don't know why. They gave it Drain Kiss, so it's even better this generation. I think they gave it Psychic. Uh, it might have had Psychic last generation, actually. But yeah, the horse just got even scarier. Um, this is literally a better version of Dragapult. It has lower speed, actually, now that I look at it. But it has better defenses in with a 100 base HP stat, I believe. I hope I'm not wrong in that. Yeah, 88, 75, 75. Okay, so it's not a strictly better Spectre or Dragapult, I guess, but still. Um, base 130 speed allows you to outspeed almost all the metagame. This is a main set that you'll this this is one of the main sets that you can run. A leftovers, Grimnay set. Well, it always has Grimnay, Grimnay. Uh Will O Wisp and Hex in substitute. Basically, you will always physical attackers can't do anything to you, and then you hex them up, or you just sub up on their next switch, and then will always and hex them, and you're able to outspeed almost everything, so it's really annoying to deal with. You could also run either Haze. I I, I was I couldn't figure out what to run in this third slot. You could run Haze. You could run Protect. Protect's actually a really good option here. Um, you could run Taunt. Taunt's another option you could run and just shut down setup sweepers in general instead of just hazing them out with your poor defensive profile taunt actually might is, would probably be the better option to be honest um but i think it's interesting that has haze in the first place 
So yeah, that's and Hayes actually knocks out your own Grim Nade boost too. So yeah, probably would rather run Taunt, but you know, that's just my take. You can also tear into a defensive typing so you can get that free sub Willowis combo going. So yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it shapes up. Um, or we actually we won't see how it shapes up because it's banned. Um, <laughs> Wait, it's completely banned. I, I, it's, it's probably not gonna have a niche and Ubers either because Calyrex Shadow Rider is coming out as well. So yeah, no niche and Ubers. Spectrier is getting sent to the Shadow Realm again. The other set that you could have run is Choice Specs with four attacking moves, Draining Kiss, Psychic Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball. You could also run in combination of Life Orb, Draining Kiss, Nasty. Does it have Nasty Plot still? Oh, it does. I didn't even talk about that. Yeah, it has Nasty Plot. Yeah, you could run Sub. Nasty Plot, uh, Willow is Hex, or you could run, actually, that's another set that I should talk about real quick. That's a good set, actually. Um, Shadow Ball, Draining Kiss, um, Nasty Plot Substitute. I think this would actually be the main set that people would run on it, actually. I think this is by and far the best set, but we'll never, we'll never get a no. Um, why is this thing too powerful? I, I same reason as it wasn't sword and shield it's way too fast for the meta game it's doing way too much damage it with terra typing giving it more power or letting it soak up a hit to set up a substitute this thing's just going to be way too strong and it's good that they decide to ban it i think and then the last one i'm just going to gloss over and i annihilate really quick there's not much to talk about again this ban happened yesterday too so it's kind of old news but it's it's still too strong the thing about Pokemon like Annihilate and Spectrier is these exponential Pokemon are just way too strong for OU and not much is going to ever change that. And what I mean by exponential power is no matter how many Pokemon you introduce, these Pokemon get have the tools that'll always make them get stronger over a battle and over a generation that it's hard to really counter them. And regardless of what you do, they get stronger and stronger and you they eventually snowball out of control. And there's no checks to the snowball. And that's that's where the problem arises. Once you have a couple bulk ups set up and you've been hit at least once, Rage Fist and Drain Punch just win the game for you. And there's nothing you can really do to stop it. And regardless of how many Pokemon you introduce, unless you introduce Uber level Pokemon, you're probably not going to ha ever have a counter to this because Rage Fist, Snowballs, Bulk Up Snowballs, Taunt Snowballs, Defiance always a good ability, Leftover is always a good item. With Terra Typing, allow you to switch into a defensive typing. I mean, it's 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 just too good. Um, two sets that you could have potentially ran, run is the Resto Chesto set and then Lefties. There's not much of a set variance either, and I took the EV spread from Small Event anyway. Uh, Terra, Water, and Farrier are two Terra types as well. And there's not, again, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So what do you guys think? Are you guys glad that the Electro Kid is going to be allowed in OU? Are you glad that Shin Pao is going to be back? The Shit Pao himself? Or what do we think about Spectrier? Should it be, should it have been given a chance at least? And same for Annihilate, or should Annihilate be sent to Ubers where it will thrive anyway? Let me know your guys' thoughts. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll have more bands tomorrow if I'm not on the road. I might be on the road tomorrow. So we'll see if a video is able to get up. Or, you know, check my YouTube and Twitter because I might just post about it then. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, stick around for next time. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.